Good day, honorable members of the teaching fraternity. Thank you very much for your support, and I do appreciate the little things you've been doing by subscribing to my YouTube channel, YSB Arena. I'm grateful. Today, I will take you through the process on how to create an account on the teacher's portal Ghana. And I will be using the guide, the teacher's guide, and that of the actual practical aspect of it. So I welcome you on board to YSB Arena. And I do believe this video is going to do you more good. Because this video is targeting in-service teachers, both teacher in administration and teacher in the classroom. And it will benefit the newly posted teachers, the NPTs. And it will also benefit the newly qualified teachers, the NQTs. So let's start. So I will take you through how to register as a teacher. Teacher registration form note. There are some notes that will support the registration and how to log in. So registering as a teacher, all teachers in Ghana are to register on the NCC teacher portal to gain access to continuous professional development programs, that's the CPD programs. Then we are to build our portfolio and manage our license online. This can be accomplished by performing the following actions. One. Go to tpg.ntc.gov.gh first slash account first slash register. Then the second option, you complete the registration form and click the register button. Then it will take you, or you have to refer to the notes below for assistance if you have any problem with it. Then check your email address for confirmation link. You click complete registration to verify your email address. So let me take you or let me walk you through the process. So if you open the portal, that is tpg.ntc.gov.gh, and you have to create an account, yeah, you will select teacher. At this point, you will select teacher. Then you put your input your first name. And it's wisdom. Then Mate Okeyo. And the other name is Hiedo. Then I'll be required to input my email address. YSB Ventures at gmail.com. My telephone number. Then I'll create a password. So let me use my phone number. Then I'm required to confirm. Then I'll click on register to register. So let's do the actual practicals. So the system says that you have to type in to open your browser. Then type in tpg dot ntc dot g 
gov dot gh then you space out then input login or sign up then you select the first link that appears then it will bring, take you to this interface then you scroll down then you click on don't have an account create one now it will take you to this interface teacher sign up organization sign up if you are a teacher you select the first one which is teacher sign up and if you are a service provider so it is for the organization that is the service providers so I click on the first link and you could see that the interface here has been shown for us so you just input your details my first name wisdom my last name Mati Okeyo my other name Yedo then my email address YSB Ventures at gmail dot com. Then my telephone number zero five four nine five seven three two two two. Then I'll be required to input a password or to create a password. So I'm creating a password. to confirm the password so you see I use my telephone number and it is telling me I cannot use the same as telephone number so I have to change it Then I'll click on send register link to register me into the portal. So after this stage, a verification code will be sent to my normal registration link sent. Please check your mail. This link will expire in one hour. Please check your spam folder if you don't see the mail in your box. So the mail has been sent to my phone and it says NTC teacher account registration teacher account registration hello is Domati Opeyo welcome to the National Teaching Council teacher portal Ghana you are receiving this mail in response to filling the TPG registration form to create a new teacher account. If you did not make this request, please ignore this email. Otherwise, click the button below to complete your registration. So I will do that. I will click that, the link in my mail to confirm the registration. So I'm doing that on my phone. So I have, 
you have received the email, teacher account registration. Hello, Wisdom Ati Okoyo. Welcome to the National Teacher Council Portal, Teacher Portal Ghana TPG. You are receiving this mail in response to filling the TPG registration form to create a new teacher account. If you did not make this request, Please ignore this email. Otherwise, click the button below to complete your registration. Try to create another account as a way of rehearsing. So you type tpg.ntc.gov.gh. Then click on enter. You can either click on register to take you to the uh, to the registration interface or you can click on login as we did in the other in the first one so in this case I'll click on log uh, register now then I'll click on teacher sign up Then in this case, I will input my credentials. That's my name, my first name. Since we are creating different accounts, we use Comfort. And last name, Wahima. Email address, ysbarena at gmail. Dot com. Then telephone will be zero for the telephone number, then password. Then I'll confirm the password. says that it must contain at least one character I will click on send register link and it must also contain at least one number so I have done that, then send register link. So the registration has been successful and the registration link has been sent to my mail. So this link will expire in one hour. Please check your spam folder if you don't see the mail in your inbox. So I will go to my email and check if I have the link there so that's it ntctpg i'll click on it so ntc teacher account registration teacher account registration hello comfort why man welcome to the national teaching council teacher portal ghana tpg you are receiving this mail in response to filling the tpg registration form to create a new teacher account if you do not if you did not make this request please ignore this email otherwise click the button below to complete your registration so I will click on this button to complete the registration process So the portal has been opened. Hello, Comfort Baima. Welcome to the Teacher Portal Ghana platform. Get started by setting up or updating your profile, after which you can start using the platform. So I'll click on Set Up Teacher Profile. So let's go back to the document and see what the documents are for us. So we are done with the registration. 
and that of the verification. So if you are doing the registration, this is what the note says. You must ensure that all information provided is accurate and belongs to you. We have done that. The platform will send you confirmation messages. We have also gotten that message. Important notices and reminders via the email and SMS to the email address and telephone number submitted. All form fares are required, with the exception of other names. All the fares are required. Registration cannot be submitted when a required fare is omitted. And the account type is, there are two account types available to users, teacher and organization account. Make sure teacher is selected under the account type. And say that with the password, your account security is of the highest importance to us, that's to the NTC team. Your account security, and I repeat, is of the highest importance to NTC. As such, your password must satisfy the following criteria. It must be at least six characters long. It must contain at least one letter. It must contain at least one number. It must not be the same as your telephone number. So you saw that when I use my telephone number in using the Mateus Domokoy one, um, I wasn't able to register. And when I used the Comfort Waima with the YSB Arena as a Gmail, uh, the email account, you got to know that I got to a particular point and it told me that I have to add a character and a number to it. And I did exactly that. It says that passwords are case sensitive. That teacher starting with a small letter and teacher starting with a capital letter are different things altogether. So we are going to log in, how to log into the account. After successfully creating an account through registration, you can access your account by logging in as follows, by using this link. Then you complete the login form and click the button below. So, now the login has been successful. You just log in with your credential, that's your email address and the password that you created. The security password you created. So that's it, ysbarena.gmail.com. And that's so we have to finish the setup and the teacher type here is public because we are all employed don't select NAPCO never select newly qualified NAPCO newly qualified NSS no don't select that one don't, you can select private if you are a private teacher and public if you are a government worker or employee not unemployed so public then the system will ask for your social security number, your staff ID, and the name on your payslip. So you do well and you do search entries. Let's go back to the book and see what it says. It says that every time you log in on a new device, a one-time password OTP is sent to your email address as a security measure to prevent unauthorized access to your account. Check your email and enter the code. So, in this case, I will log out and I will log in again so that you know what the system is saying. I'm a teacher, so teacher login. Then I will input my email address or enter my email address ysbarena at gmail.com. And the password.
then this is a recapture which is that you have to prove to the system that you are not a robot so that's it then I'll click on lucky it says that invalid email and a password this simply means that I have entered a wrong email address or a wrong password then how to recover our account I'll just scroll down and I will choose I have forgotten my email password and I'll click on one time password then I will input the phone number which I used so that's it then I'll send on I'll click on send OTP then the one time password will be sent or will be generated and sent to the phone number which I use in registering so in case I remember the password that I use I will just do well and then my recapture then I'll click on login this time I've remembered my password accurately so it says that login in on a new device as we read here as we read here we have sent a confirmation code to your email to authorize this browser this link will expire in 15 minutes and it can take about three minutes to receive the confirmation email please remember to also check your spam so i will go to my email so i will go to my email to check if a code has been sent so that's it NTC TPG so hello that's two-factor authentication confirmation code hello comfort Wahima. please use the code below to complete your login this code will expire in 15 minutes so the code is let me write it somewhere 3 1 Four six nine eight. Then I will enter four. Sorry, three one four six nine eight. Then I'll click on login. So now I've been able to log into my account. So that's convert by my and that's the email address then I will click on set up teacher profile to continue the registration from there let's go to the write up or the book there's the user manual and see what happens so how to log in you log in with your using your email address and your password so YSB Arena at gmail.com then I'll enter the password I used so that's the password then I will click on login to log me in password recovery in the event you forgot your password click next password recovery in the event where you have forgotten your password and you need help logging in just click on the login button you will be presented with two options that's the email password reset and the one-time password and I've taken you through this practically
by using the OTP where a code was sent to my mail and uh, I will use that particular code oh, sorry a code will be sent or a code was sent to my phone number and I will in turn use that code to log in into my account so this is the interface of it need help logging in so you click on need help logging in then it takes you to this interface you will click on the one time password then you are good to go so setting up teacher profile that's where we are on your first login into your account you have to set up your teacher profile below are some tips for this process the profile setup is divided into seven phases these are identification information personal information passport picture upload document upload academic history setup employment history setup and the license setup the faces can be filled in any order doesn't matter that the first one is the identification information it can be filled in any order depending on the document you have at your disposal all information is saved once entered and you can stop and continue at any time you can view your profile progression to see which fields are required to complete the setup by clicking on the flag this flag i will take you to you through that process at the bottom menu of the web page your password picture must have a white background and must be a g paging or jpeg or png image so this is the interface how it, it, it will be so let's go through so i'll click on public then i will fill this portion you continue with your profile so you will now fill in these portions the seven faces that I, I spoke about earlier so you click on this portion then you select public then you enter your SNIT number your staff ID and the name of the paste list then you click on save but if the system says invalid invalid as in the case of let's say like this good so if it shows like this then you see that there is a flag here there will be a flag here you click on the flag and this will show if you are using phone there will be a flag here then you click on the flag this will show then you click on what am i missing then it should to give you what you are yet to do then you can click on next to continue and fill the other um, faces either identification and that's what you've done the personal information your passport document upload academic history the employment history and the license setup then you do that because the information here are sensitive and they are personal information i don't want to break any rule therefore um, i'll end here thank you very much